Behind me is Graceland 2, home in the late Paul McLeod and his legendary Elvis Presley Museum, which was open to Ole Miss students for 24 hours of the day, 7 days a week, and open 365 days of the year. Over nearly 25 years, more than half a million people visited the late Paul McLeod's home, and the city of Holly Springs opened the doors to Graceland 2 one more time for anyone who wanted to pay their respects to Paul McLeod. Much of Paul's entire effort, I want to stress, wasn't really about uh, showing Elvis memorabilia. It was about explaining his ongoing attempts to archive all form of references to Elvis Presley in every form of media. Paul is just an example of someone who really followed their heart and he would always say you got to do what you love and I think it's evident in just the walls and the ceilings and the floors of this place. We first came here in 1994. We came to see, uh, to see Paul and we're just blown away by the whole thing. He was just so much fun. What I think about this place is that it's crazy on how many people come back and how he lived in it because it's like so cluttered with all his Elvis stuff that he really loved. While the future of Graceland 2 is uncertain, there is one thing that is certain. And that is that Paul McLeod's legacy will live forever. Reporting for the Daily Mississippian, I'm Browning Stubbs.